Hi everyone, I'm making this video because I got one of my clients who uh, asked me for a project and uh, this project's going to be run on a website which is using the code Ignitor framework and I didn't know about uh, code Ignitor at all. So I'm just going to explain in fact um, how difficult or how easy it is to install a Matubo on a code uh, Ignitor framework and then uh, do it. So I don't know about it, uh, according to Adol, that's a PHP uh, framework uh, which is uh, open source, so it sounds really good uh, because of course when it starts to be open source it means that it's kind of easy to integrate uh, the, the tracking code of Matomo within it. And um, basically why would you use it uh, rather than using a CMS such as a WordPress, which is really in PHP, uh, basically because you probably sometimes want to make things which are even more customized than what the CMS can do. And that's typically uh, the definition of a framework. So framework is about uh, a system uh, which has already created all the main uh, PHP feature function that you need in order to build up a kind of, of website. And that's why uh, we go for framework somewhere sometime uh, rather than going for a CMS because we want to make it even more customized than what a CMS software can uh, can provide. So that's um, that's basically it. So coding Nitter is a PHP uh, framework. Not though that uh, there haven't any uh, integration developed yet uh, for coding Nitter for Matomo. So what it means is that you don't have, um, let's say, a plugin or any work which have been made by the Inigter community in order to uh, make the deployment of Matomo tracking code on the PHP uh, coding editor application. That's what it means. So that's the reason why uh, when you go doo -doo -doo, when you go over here on this page, that's the list of integration. Uh, you cannot see coding editor, but the good news is that uh, coding editor it's kind of easy to handle. So it's kind of easy to insert the tracking code within it. Whereas that may not be the case in uh, other frameworks, such as for example. I'm thinking about Angular and stuff like this, which are um, composed, for example, of one single page and which make it uh, very hard uh, to track. So with uh, coding data, it's kind of straightforward. So probably that's the reason why uh, there's no integration which have been developed yet. Um, that's a topic uh, which has been uh, tackled already, as you can see. Uh, there are some posts about it, but all those posts are in fact not saying that it's bloody complicated to install. No, it's mostly saying that uh, that's okay. And the main issue that people are facing are more basic issues with Matomo, which are not due to a coding editor. Okay, uh, so in order to install Coding Editor, if you want to, to test it, it's kind of easy as far as uh, you look on your own for any uh, troubleshooting uh, explanation. So to say, it's just a, a set of files that you download, you put it on your Apache server or any kind of other server which is working with Coding Editor, uh, then you unzip the file up there and once it's done, and then probably you're going to get some errors. So uh, you go on platforms such as YouTube and you look for a tutorial and this is what I did. And then they explain me why I got an error message page and how I can fix it. So once uh, you fix it, uh, this is normally the page that you will get. So in my case saying, welcome to Coding Editor 4.0. So let's say this is the first app uh, which is automatically generated by Coding Editor. So to say if I succeed to track this page, probably I will be able uh, to track any uh, other page with uh, Matomo Analytics. So now let's see how can we integrate uh, Matomo tracking code within this page. Um, so in order to do so, I'm just going to go on my own uh, Matomo, which is over here. So this is the container that I just created for the sake of uh, this tutorial. Then I'm going to try to find out the page in Coding Editor which corresponds to this one, which is the, I think they call it the welcome message or something like this. Okay, that's something that I found out uh, when I was, yes, over here. So I entered within a Coding Editor slash app slash views. And then I have a page which is called welcome uh, message.php. So over here, probably what I can do is that I can uh, just uh, sudo get it. Uh, I'm just going to do it this way. Um, get it and we say that's the welcome message. Okay, so here I insert my password and then I get uh, get it running. So uh, this is typically 
the way that your dev team is not gonna do it uh, because here I'm doing it really the bad way so I'm just copying and pasting here the tracking code on the page itself but um, the reason why you have a framework is just that you want to automate this thing so um, typically what's going to be made by uh, your uh, dev team is that they are going to use a specific uh, feature or specific function of coding editor in order to automatically insert this uh, tracking code on all the head uh, part of all your page and you won't have actually to go one by one so as I'm doing right now and uh, so now as the code is on the page I can just fire um, the first uh, page load so here uh, everything everything good I'm just going to publish it and just create v1 just going to publish this out and then I'm just going to access to the page so now if I get a page view of one I will be uh, happy. So we said code ignitor. So I'm just going to type in here code ignitor. Uh, so, so far there's no data because, of course, I did not visit the page. But now, if I visit the page and that the code is on the page, which I expect it to be, I'm just going to look over here and get that. Uh, okay, I get my Tomo Tag Manager over here. So, probably I get my first visit. Okay, it's not working probably because on my browser I don't have the. Um, I'm blocking the the tracking code, so I'm gonna have to use another another uh, browser. So this is what I'm doing now. And now, if I'm lucky enough, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my first page right. And I'm not getting my first page right. So uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna try to debug it. So I'm gonna go like this inspect console here it's telling me uh, connection refused index container so that's uh, certification authority invalid and uh, mm -hmm. so the dislike uh, to have my content over here probably that's due to yep so in my private window i'm gonna do it this way will it work this way console uh, debug bar, so this one's fine. I'm just gonna like okay. So here I'm getting the Matomo properly sent over here, and just container is right. So here there's no reason why it shouldn't work. So I'm just gonna go over here again and gonna wow. So definitely I'm not lucky today. I'm um, gonna try to access it through my mobile, which is on the same network. So hold on just one sec. Yep. So we say it was localhost and then it was codignitor and codignitor again. So codignitor ignitor slash ignitor. Just to let you know that those issues that we are uh, seeing right now are not linked to uh, coding editor but are linked to my connection. So that's the reason why it's not uh, why it's not working, but that should work anyway. So here the script. Yeah, here the request is sent properly. I'm just gonna then double check. Okay, so mm. okay, so I'm gonna work it this way now. I'm just gonna copy this one. And put it over here. Okay. Okay, so matomo.js is properly loaded, so there should no reason why it doesn't work. Um, okay, I'm definitely out of luck. Uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna use like uh, uh, 
uh, I should use another browser maybe uh, to access it. Yeah, I can do it this way. Um, I'm gonna keep the Chromium, should work for Chromium. Okay, <clears throat> so now the script is loaded. So that should that should work and now we get the visit so in fact i had to go within the private mode and so on and so forth but that's uh that's working so definitely i got it so now i can use in fact uh the um i can use my my matomo so here of course it would have been better if i could have used the tag manager but i think it's blocked for some reason so i can double check but I think uh, even in, in private window is going to be blocked by yeah as you can see it's struggling with the container due to um, primary certificate or something like that but it doesn't really matter for the sake of of this tutorial because the idea was to show that it's, it's gonna work uh, so you can easily inject your Matomo within the page and if you didn't have a a certification issue so as i'm facing then you will be able to send it as well 